back to win it, taking three straight against Texas. Now they are up to zip. Can Cal do what has only been done three times in the 30-year history of this tournament and rally from 0-2 to win a championship? And Cal does not change up anything. Murray left front, so is Brown. What they do change is they didn't set Murray. They set somewhere else, and that's a good change. They need to mix it up. You see her on your screen there, number 11 in blue. Cat Brown has to get more attempts, as does their other middle, Shannon Hawari. Take a little of the pressure off of Tara Murray. Kristen Carpenter to Blair Brown, and there's one of the seniors that Russ Rose talked about. Can they bring it home for the fourth time? Three-year starter. She too spent some time with the U.S. national team in the offseason. And Rose, to uh, Rose told us last weekend at the regional, when she scores, we're good. When she doesn't, we lose. And she's scoring well so far. McClendon wallops one out of the back row. We haven't seen that much. No Carpenter, the setter, is feeling confident in her hitter, McClendon, to deliver it to her in the back row. That's a wrinkle that Cal hasn't seen much. So we've seen wrinkles, new tech or new tactics from both teams so far in set three. Murray somehow got it through the triple block. Point Cal. There must have been a gap in the block. It just slipped through. That's exactly what Penn State wants. You can see here three people up, but a little space between Brown on the right and Slay in the middle. Carpenter back to Brown and off the block wide. Point Penn State. Blair Brown now with 12 kills. Brown that time showing the patience that Murray has learned this season. It's not lined up, just tap it over, see what happens. Service error from Dorico may have hurt her hand on that one. She's mad at herself. She gave herself a poor toss that went way into the court, so she barely got it with her fingertips, and that's why she's grabbing it. She just couldn't even reach the ball. Penn State using just two passers. Wilson dug up by Lloyd. Murray misfires out of the back. And in prior rounds, we have seen Murray swinging much more aggressively out of the back row. But she saw a good block in front of her, got a little intimidated. Let's pass. McClendon gets it. What a good read to come way over toward the sideline to make that defensive play. Lloyd to Hawaii in the middle, got it down. Point down. Two nice adjustments in that play. Number one, McClendon coming way over toward one corner to make the defensive play, and then Hawari, knowing where she was playing, hitting toward the other corner. Ariel Scott rejected. Tries to tip it over, chance for Cal. Another stuff and a point Cal. Well, it was a good cover by DeRico, but Blair Brown wasn't ready for the second one, kind of standing straight up. You see her way in the right corner there and then getting low to make the play. That's too late. Another tough serve for Cal. We'll get them the chance here, and they do pick up a point. That's certainly something that Coach Feller was talking about. We need to serve tougher. We need to get Penn State out of its offense. Two aces in a row. That's the tougher serving that Feller wanted. And you can feel the momentum shifting a little. We felt that last year when Penn State fell down 2-0 and started to come back against Texas. All Cal really needs to do is get this third set to get their confidence and they're ready to roll. Wilson. Wide open, sliding behind for the point. That's a play Wilson loves to run. It's just whether her setter right next to her and behind her. They're hard to see because she's only 5'6". <laughs> and Wilson just a bit taller at 6'3". Gian gets the kill. Point Cal. The FCS football championship game will be live on ESPN2 on Friday, January 7th. For more information on the FCS football championship, go to NCAA.com, the official online home.
for all 88 NCAA championships. And that's the cost of trying to turn the volume up, turn the pressure up on your serving, as you're going to miss more. Now knows they just need to apply a little pressure to see how Penn State will respond. The Nittany Lions have won 18 of 19. Their one loss was a blown 2-0 lead to Minnesota late in the regular season. They have yet to be tested in the postseason. Brown out of the back into the net. In the middle of that rally, we saw the setter for Penn State Carpenter taking a swing. One of the things Coach Rose said about her, he said, she's our hardest hitter. Just like Alicia Glass, the All-American setter that they, that they lost to graduation and has gone on to star as a setter for the U.S. national team. Used to do, she used to be the hardest hitter. Talk about some big shoes to fill this year for Carpenter. There's a chance for Cal. And their setter is going to get a swing, Carly Lloyd. Who can also bring the thunder. And another stuff, Cat Brown alongside Lloyd. This time, Cat Brown doing a nice job. There was some space there between her and the end blocker, but she got her hands across the net. That's the most important thing as a blocker. Cal. Even in blocks with Penn State ahead here in the third. as Penn State tries for its fourth straight title. UConn looks to continue its record run. They'll take on the Ohio State Buckeyes, gunning for their 88th win in a row. Tune into ESPNU at 2 Eastern to see if they can continue their streak. Penn State, the Nittany Lions had a 109 match winning streak come to a close earlier this year. They have won the last three national titles. In 08 and 09, they did it undefeated. And they're trying to cap it off with a fourth straight and a 2-0 lead here tonight as Blair Brown gets the kill out of the timeout. And actually at the start of the season, Penn State was ranked number one. Coach Rose didn't feel that was really fair with all the talent they lost to graduation. Here it is. Apparently the coaches were right all along <laughs> in that early ranking. Lloyd goes back out to Murray. Slay got another block. Murray had to try and go over the top of it. The swing block was there waiting for Brown. Good choice by Brown just to keep it alive. Schmidt bumps it up. Slay sends it back again. Boy, this is going to exhaust Murray here. She keeps having to swing five times a rally. Carpenter back to Brown. And off the block wide. Point Penn State. Well, we have the same matchup. I was wondering if Cal would change it. They did not. So you have Brown hitting against Murray, Murray hitting against Brown. Multiple times that rally. Brown still out. That attack wide, Point Penn State. Blair Brown now with 14 kills to lead the way for the Nittany Lions. She's hitting 357 in the final match of her career. Will it be a fourth consecutive trophy winning match? McClendon got the block. Doesn't get the kill as it's stuffed again by Lloyd. Lloyd still giving her team life. You were talking about Blair Brown, how good she's been. She was struggling the first half of the season. Coach Rose was even saying, hey, you know, when you have your stars, it's like, hey, we need you. We need you to lead these young players. They don't know how to do it. They, they want to follow somebody. After they had a rough weekend in Indiana, the middle of the season, she's turned it on, they've turned it on. Second half of the year for Brown, averaging more than one kill per set than she did in the first half of the season, and her hitting percentage up over 50% from the first half of the year. So early on, coach was like, hey, where you been? <laughs> I need you. 
Sometimes, Karch, do you get the sense that after being a follower for three years against some pretty dynamic, behind some pretty dynamic personalities, it takes a team a while to get used to new leadership? Absolutely. And that was something that Blair Brown and Ari Wilson and Dorico had to learn. They had been more the followers until this year because so many great players like Megan Hodge and Alicia Glass were with the program. So it took them much of the season to learn, well, how do we lead this group? This group is waiting to be led. That's a tough serve. Nice pass by Ross Stratton. Longo chases it down. Murray. Good, Good get by Dorico. Back to Blair Brown. Schmidt down to pop it up. Brown against the solo block and the rare show of emotion from the senior. Exactly what I was thinking. Not seen her celebrate that much, but she can taste it now. Only down one with this two sets to none lead. That fist pump has been four years in the making for Blair Brown. And the ace from Longo. Both the last two serves, you see the whole Penn State bench going crazy. Both the last two serves were rockets. Ross Strader controlled the first one. Now they have to, have to bring in a third passer, Megan Schmidt. Good pass. Oh. Lloyd tried to dump on two, and Ariel Scott makes her pay, and Penn State's got all the momentum, and Cal has to burn a timeout. Feller not happy with that shot by Lloyd. Too soft, it's just gonna put it over on the second contact, throw it down hard. Four straight points for the Nittany Lions, seeking a fourth straight national title. They are in the driver's seat and on cruise control right now. Penn State leading Cal two sets to none, and they've rattled off four points in a row to take the lead here in the third, trying to close out the championship match. Coach Russ Rose and his team looking for their fourth title in a row. There is Mrs. Rose, Lori Barberich, who is also the all-time kills leader in Penn State history. And we see them both wearing the navy the lucky sweaters. sweaters. Those sweaters have won three <laughs> titles each. <laughs> Going for number four. No sweater has ever won four you don't <laughs> titles mess with in a row. I think the, both the sweaters are going to have to go to the Hall of Fame if yeah. they do that. Oh, there's no way he's ditching that after four of those. I'm, he's going to keep that as long as he's coaching. Triple block again facing Murray. Blair Brown, the senior with her sixth kill of this set for Penn State. She's got almost half their scoring. Now looking for its first title. Penn State a fourth in a row. And Brown and Wilson and Dorico, the seniors could win one every year they've been in a Penn State uniform. Coaches have said Penn State is an underrated serving team. They are turning it up big time in this third set. Another ace on what, in theory, should be the best passer for Cal, Ross Stratton. Six straight points. Murray stuffed. Brown, they just keep feeding the beast here in the third set. Got to go to the hot hitter. And what I like about the last two plays, Brown, when she didn't have it, she hit deceptive shots. First the tip, and then this roll shot. It looks like it's going to come hard. It's like an off-speed pitch in baseball. You mix those in, gives the defense fits. Wow. 7-0 run, make it eight, and another ace. And timeout. Golden Bears. Longo was in the doghouse with Coach a little earlier this week for getting his bag on the bus, but he's <laughs> got to be happy with her now. Allie Longo with three aces off the bench for Penn State. Another freshman making big contributions here in Kansas City. They've won four titles, the last three in a row. And just an incredible run for the Nittany Lions. 
The last two championships undefeated. This one, they hit some bumps in the road early, but Blair Brown has cranked it up in the second half of the season, and in particular here tonight. She came up huge in that second set. They easily could have lost that. A couple of big blocks by Penn State, and then she gets the kill, that soft shot, the tip deep into the corner. And Penn State very happy to go into the locker room with a 2-0 lead. Seven kills in this set alone. And we believe the first fist pump in her career. She's been showing an awful lot of emotion tonight. Well, as Penn State tries to continue its streak, so do the UConn women's basketball team. They're in the Maggie Dixon Classic tomorrow afternoon on ESPNU at 2 Eastern against Ohio State as they try and match UCLA men's basketball program with 88 consecutive wins. It's tomorrow on ESPNU. Of course, Penn State says record schmeckered. We, <laughs> we've got 109. <laughs> Connecticut only at 88 or 87 <laughs> right now. The other streaks of note in NCAA history. You got to be impressed both by Penn State's and by UConn's in this competitive age yep. of so many D1 programs, respectively in volleyball and in basketball for women. And in fields of 64 teams in the NCAA tournament. It is a longer road to get to the championship. Penn State starting to feel it now. Longo. Point Cal as Murray gets the kill. We saw Cal try something different. Murray coming into the court a little to attack, trying to get away and avoid the block of Blair Brown. It worked that time, so we'll watch to see if Cal does that some more. Brown continuing to tear it up here in the third. Well, Carpenter's still learning the setting craft, but she's no dummy. If somebody's got seven kills this set, let's make it eight right now. Harari <laughs> <laughs> blocked. Ari Wilson got that one, the other senior. They'll try and reward her with the set. Instead, Cal in transition. Getting the point. Again, Cal needing to get other hitters going. In that case, Corey Johnson bringing it cross court. We saw her earlier go down the line. That's still open for her. Brown that time stuffed. Murray, 51 swings for Cal. And the service error, Point Penn State. And when you have to carry the load like that, passing a lot, hitting a lot, it can affect other parts of your game. And it was, it was clear it did on that serve. Another tough serve. Not a good set from Carpenter, so Cal will get a chance. Not going to make it. Point Cal. Good hit by Guillen. Cal needs to do a better job of avoiding the tallest blockers of Penn State, hitting higher, flatter shots. Another big swing from a senior. And that's a high flat shot. Wow, did she elevate there and go right over the block. The streak ended in September. Back-to-back -back losses in October. And you could hear the murmurs, the rumblings. The dynasty is done. Penn State's in big trouble. And all they've done since is win 18 of 19. And they are now four points away from the improbable. Dorico pops it up. Brown down to get it.
McClendon. down to get another one. And Deja McClendon with the finish. Two points to the title. The seniors giving the younger players momentum. Brown with big kills, Wilson, and then McClendon joining in. Quillico digs it up. Point Cal. Wilson gets the kill. Championship point, Penn State. error point Cal another championship point expect the ball to go to McClendon Carpenter to Blair Brown Back row attack called on Brown. Point Cal. They fight off two championship points. Trying to let Blair finish it, finish it with a kill. McClendon dug up. Carpenter back outside to the freshman. Murray got it. And Coach Rose still has one timeout. He's debating. And he'll use it as Cal fends off three championship points. The Penn State Nittany Lions. They won their championship in 07, sort of with the buildup. They didn't have any seniors of note on that team. They came back the next year in 08, the so-called best team in history with six All-Americans. They win it again last year, undefeated, with the best senior class in the history of the sport. The winningest, Alicia Glass and Megan Hodge. And this year, they weren't supposed to be here. And yet they have figured out a way with this senior class and the freshmen that have kept getting better, Karch, and they are now at championship point. And some of the coaches I talked to here, Co Coach Rose has gotten coach of the year for some of those winning teams. They're only half joking. They're saying, what is he, if he wins with this group, what is he, coach of the decade? <laughs> they are looking for their fourth in a row. They win the opening set, and then Cal had a chance to tie it up in the uh, second set. Penn State fights off two set points to go up to zip. Two huge blocks by Penn State. Cal had everything it wanted. A big swing by Tara Murray on the outside, another by Guillen, and they just couldn't seal the deal. That deflated Cal to the point where they then came out flat out of the media break in the third. The Penn State seniors said, yeah, winning three was great, but this is about a legacy of our own. This is a new year, a new team, and they are the leaders this time around. And they've got another championship point. That's a good, tough serve on match point. And we'll have a chance. The Rico to Carpenter. 
Blair Brown out of the back row. Slay ends it! The dynasty lives on! Penn State wins its fourth national championship in a row! Russ Rose becomes the first coach in women's volleyball history to win a fifth national championship. And the Penn State seniors, a perfect postseason career, 24-0 and, and four national titles. We talked to legendary volleyball player Carrie Walsh earlier in the match. And she now has some company as the only freshman MVPs of the national championship. And it's Penn State's Deja McClendon. She hits 733 in the semifinals, and she follows it up with 16 kills tonight. And the winning sweaters paid off again for Coach and his wife. His fifth title. Passes John Dunning and Don Shaw. And Deja McClendon, who was in the stands, in the bleachers last year in Tampa, watching Penn State win its third in a row. Now, the MVP of a fourth championship in consecutive years. Katie Slay had a bunch of blocks tonight. The 6'6 freshman didn't have any kills until the last one of the match. She knows how to pick her spots. The final point recorded. The dynasty lives on in Happy Valley as Penn State wins its fourth in a row, denying Carly Lloyd and the Cal Bears the first championship in program history. Russ Rose loving it. A sweep in the semis and a sweep in the finals. For Karts Karai, Mike Sondheimer, our entire crew, I'm Beth Mowens. So long from Kansas City.